Is organized crime so organized? I'm just gonna take your mouth. That's how the mouth takes back their mouth? I must admit, I'm surprised. I didn't know we had that technology. Well, looks like my opera career is over. I can now focus on my true love. Mime! Plus, at least my diet will be more effective. <laughs> That's hilarious. You cannot evade the XP five two six zero series helicopter. Chess is running on a special mix of diesel and dietetrichloroethylene. You cannot escape this helicopter equipped with all this boring stuff. Oh man, how does he see me? Boop. Whoops. Whoa, how did he not see me? She's in there, not <laughs> my baby's home. Get away from me, Joe. I've got a restraining order on you. 150 feet, Joe. There. That's 151. <laughs> Get a life, Joe. I've moved on, and you need to do the same, too. Maybe you should find someone to love more than you love stupid helicopters. I have, and you're dumping Ash into his home. <laughs> <laughs> What? Sorry, I can't hear you over my not awesomeness. Emotional problems is so boring. Oh my god, that's the best. Ah, she's so frustrating. She's like a helicopter with a busted rotor turbine, and a new one can't be ordered for three weeks because of their stupid inventory management software. And by that I mean, ah, she's so frustrating. My hair is going to look fabulous. I am a sexy beast, and my date is one lucky gentleman. Damn. Damn. Alas, and woe to, for neither of these erstwhile parents cares for me truly at this moment. Nay, they care only for what I can do for them. She and he both care only for revenge on the other. I, it is a powerful motive, but not as powerful as love. If only the man's love could be proven true. For while it is still tainted by revenge on the lady, it is hollow, a mere farce unseen by its players. I still seek for myself a home where I can truly be happy. Cared for by someone untouched by baser motivation. Wow, this goldfish has a lot to say. To be it's almost like putting me to sleep. Thank you. Alright, so now we got the screaming mouth. Wow. Voice like that could break hearts and glass. Probably at the same time. And the poster. Oh, there she is. Donna. Now, if I 
I had to list her three most important and recognizable traits, I guess it would be her voice, her hair, and that nice looking- Oh, outfit. wait, do we have to steal her hair? Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> the fish. <laughs> oh no! My baby, Papa won't rest until he finds you. <laughs> oh no! The goldfish. We go. So <laughs> fancy. So beautiful. It's testing. Testing. Wow. This thing is dangerous. <laughs> now all we need to do is get. Oh, oh I know. I know what we have to do. I told Snow. We gotta get the fish back. But how? How are we gonna get the fish back? I don't know. Because we need to get the fox, but we need the fish first to distract her. Maybe... Hmm. With this sticker, we go to the cup. And we stick it to him. There we go. Great idea! We can go to the opera! That'll show her I'm a classy man who appreciates the finer things in life. Who <laughs> like, like paying to have strangers sing at me. Eureka! Alright. Now we're just missing one crucial thing. <gasps> Fudge. Can they still... Yeah, they can still go after me. Oh, we can't fool them yet until we had that fox. We, somehow we gotta get that fish. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do? See, we still come back and give her something. Yeah, we forgot to ask her. It's gone! I'm bald! And that kinda looks super hot, actually. Damn! My date really is a lucky man. He is gonna see some skin tonight. <laughs> well. Give me that fox!
Oh, let's read. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so full. If I even think of fish, I'll just... I'll just explode. Quick, think of something else. Think of... Uh, of rainbows. Yes. Light Welcome back, rainbow, Joey. Floating over the ocean. Ocean full of fish. <laughs> Owners, but instead get eaten by a seagull. Yep, yes, she did, Larry. <laughs> she said that her date was gonna get some skin. Alright, food for thought. Alright, now we just gotta get a fish. So we can think of fish, so we can throw up the fish that we need. But how is that even gonna be possible? Oh, to the joy. Fisherman? Ah, of course. Am I really celebrating my birthday alone on the docks again? Oh, well. I suppose I'll just have to treat myself to another imaginary three-story tuna-filled fish cake with extra caviar. <laughs> with extra caviar. Here we go. Welcome back, Joel. You know that fish? He's my only true love, and you stuffed him? And yet he's still alive. And what can I say? I'm a very good taxidermist. You're... you're wonderful. So talented, so... so beautiful, so awesome. You're like the best fish in the world. Only it's like a human female. A twisted you're version of yourself. Little Big Planet combined with Psychonauts. Sight until this very second. Yay, now we get the fox. This looks like that dead fox that Donna always wears. Although, come to think of it, I guess most dead foxes look. Yeah, because they're dead. Hey, uh, can you take me to oh, Donna? Uh, <laughs> I like how the voice isn't changed. But he's like, ah, oh, Donna. Uh, thanks for the ride. Oh, the last part he changes. Arlene. Whoops. Jump. Arlene, are you there? Arlene! You said such terrible things on the news. Oh, thank goodness. Arlene. Wait a second, you're not Arlene. Arlene, I You got it, boss. Arlene. <laughs> Arlene. Chapter 8, The Nightmare. Well, here's the story. Where my life got turned upside down by being hit by a flying thing. I got a spaghetti arm coming my head and I can read people's mind.